Hello guys, welcome back to another interesting video on my channel. Today we will learn how to make water simulation in Blender and make this sort of an animation as well. But first, if you are new here or haven't subscribed already, then please subscribe and the finished tutorial blend file will be available for free in the description. All of you guys can check it out. But if you want this blend file, you can get it on my Gumroad page and the Patreons will be getting it for free as well. So back to Blender. We will not be deleting the poor cube today, but before we start creating our animation, I am gonna give you a basic idea of how the water simulation is gonna work. And then we will work on the proper animation as well. So we will select the cube, then go to object, quick effects and uh, quick liquid. So the cube that we had selected is now the flow object. And a domain cube has been automatically set up for us. I am gonna move it up and uh, scale it down a little bit. Now go to the physics properties. This is our flow object. All of the settings have been done automatically. And this is the domain. Resolution is the resolution or we can say it's the number of particles which is gonna make the liquid for us. I will not be going too deep to talk about all of the settings in this video. But uh, if you guys want, I will make a separate video on it later. So just click on play and we should see an animation. Oh, well, nothing happened. If it's the same for you guys, then uh, we just have to update it. Simply change the resolution and uh, it's gonna be updated. And uh, like I said, it's the resolution and if we increase it, this is how it's gonna look like. But this is only particles. We cannot render it. It's not the mesh. We have to check the mesh options which will be creating the mesh for us, um, which we'll talk later in the video. But first, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the cache type settings. The replay is for the visual replay to have a basic idea of how it's gonna look like. And uh, then it's modular. In this type, we have the control to bake every settings above individually. And now it's all. This will bake all of the settings above at the same time. We're gonna keep it on modular today. Yeah, one more thing. If we look at the mesh settings, it's clearly written to be able to bake it, we must have is resumable checked on. Uh, once we have it checked on, then first we will bake the particles. Once it's baked, we now have an animation and we also know how the final result is gonna look like. And if you're not too happy with the result, then uh, you can just click on free data, change some settings and then bake it again. Once you're satisfied, then scroll down and bake or mesh. Once it's baked, we can see this is the final result. Now you all have a basic idea of how to make a water simulation, how to bake the particles and the mesh. And now we will be working on the animation. Same like before, quick liquid, scale down the flow and the domain cubes. Actually, I'm gonna make the domain cube a bit bigger. Time to place some more objects in the scene. Uh, they can be anything, text or any object of your own choice, but uh, make sure they are inside the domain cube. So this is the flow object, this is our domain and these are the effector objects. To set them as effectors, go to the physics properties, fluid and change type to effector. You can also do this one by one but it's also possible there uh, might be a lot of objects in your scene and you cannot do them all manually. So you can just select all of them and then the one with the physics settings and press Ctrl L, copy modifiers and the physics settings will be enabled on all of these objects. So now I'm gonna increase the resolution to 64 again and play the animation. Update it if it's not working. 
we can see the factors are working properly but that's not what we want we want a continuous flow of liquid okay first i'm gonna change the type to modular so we can bake it as well check is resumable now select the flow cube and change flow behavior to inflow also check initial velocity set y to 0.6 Now big data. We can see it's flowing to the back side and uh, that's not what we want. We want it to flow in the opposite direction. For that I'm gonna free data and change y to minus 0.6 and then bake again. It's looking quite nice, which means we can bake the mesh. Check mesh and bake it. We can see the factors are reacting perfectly. So now we have made a simple and easy water simulation. I'm going to quickly set up a scene so we can see how it's going to look like in the render view. If you cannot see the scene skies in the world type, I have a separate video on how to install it. Its link will be in the description and it's black. It's because it's an EV. I'm not gonna talk about the EV settings in this video. If you want me to make a separate video about it, you can just tell me in the comment box. It's not looking bad at all. I'm gonna quickly give the rest of the objects some random materials to make the scene a little bit more interesting. The default water material is looking great though, but uh, I've used another one for my final scene. For that material, go to the shading tab, bring in the principal node, roughness to 0, transmission all the way to 1. IOR to 1.333 Change the color to slightly blue well, Now you have two materials, it's your own choice which material you want to use And now it's totally on you guys to create some text If you want to learn more about text, I have a full video on how to create easy and clean text You can check it out I will be giving its link in the description so after the text so you can throw some additional lights to make it look more beautiful and then you are done. Hope you liked the video and if you did then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. You can tag me on my insta of your final work as well. I will love to see your work. Well this is it. See you soon in my next video. You all take care till then and happy blending.